In this video, I'm going to go over the simple page of the sample layer of Revolution Create 2.0. If you're familiar with any of our other products, you'll notice that the simple page is laid out the exact same as our other products. So starting in the left-hand corner, top left-hand corner, you have the simple and advanced tabs. This allows you to switch between the simple page and the advanced pages. You can bypass the layer. You have a low-pass filter cutoff, a low-pass filter resonance, pan, main volume, coarse tune, octave tune. You can enable and disable the MIDI player here. Enable, disable the arpeggiator here, as well as octave controls. You have high-pass filter cutoff and high-pass filter resonance. Below that, you have an abbreviated sample engine. You can choose the sample sources here. This is your sample display window. You have the playback mode, the sample start, the sample end, loop mode, loop end, loop start, loop end. You can choose the speed of the playback. Then you have the default key switch, enable, disable, and the default key switch. Now what these do is if you have the default key switch enabled, what this will allow you to do is change what the default key switch will be when you reload the patch. Automatically it'll always default to the lower note, which would be the whole note key switch but you can change that if you'd like. If you'd like to, the preset always to load up as a quarter or a half note, uh, all you need to do is double click that, hit the corresponding key switch. So in this case, let's say I wanted, want it to be a quarter note, I'll hit the quarter note key switch. It's there, then all I need to do is save the preset and every time I load it, it'll always default to that key switch that I've specified. You can change the speed of the playback so you can double it or you can cut it. Um, so let's say I'm on the quarter note key switch. And I want it to be eighth notes. So I can do that. Or if I have it on whole notes, I can stretch it out to two bars. And just to clarify, so you have key switches for each layer. Most of the presets come as two layers. Um, so the first layer's key switches will be down here. They'll be the ones on the left at the end of the keyboard. And then the second layer's key switches will be over here on the right. Now if you don't have an 88 key keyboard, it can be a little frustrating to constantly have to hit the transpose button so that you can hit the key switches. What we've done is we've also placed them over here on the trigger pads. So you can either click them to change the key switches or if your MIDI controller comes with pads, you can just hit them there and it should change the key switches for you. After that, we have the amplitude envelope, which is just the standard ADSR. You have attack, decay, sustain, release, amplitude, velocity. Then you have the filter. You can bypass it if you'd like. You have the cutoff, different filter options, resonance, envelope amount, distortion options, and distortion amount. And then you've got the filter velocity. Over here, you have the motion section. This features two pre-assigned LFOs, one assigned to volume, one assigned to pan. You can bypass these if you'd like. You have the waveform type, retrigger mode, the amount, rate, shape, and phase. Then over here, you have the modulation. This features the mod wheel and aftertouch. You can bypass them. You can choose the amount that they will affect the destination. Then you have a destination pull-down. Lastly, I'd like to add, there are certain presets that come with the prefix mirror. What that means is that it's a two-layered preset. The first layer um, plays back normally. So right now I have pulled up acoustic guitar 12 string. All this would mean is that the playback mode is set to normal. So it'll sound just as if you're striking the string on the guitar. Uh, the second layer will play back in reverse. So since the first layer is not reversing and it's normal playback, it won't have the key switch functions over here because it won't have any key switches. But you will still find the key switches for the second layer. So that wraps up the simple page of the sample layer in Revolution Create 2.0.